Let's look at alkanes versus alkenes. Alkanes have only single bonds and they're said to be saturated. Alkenes contain at least one carbon-carbon double bond and they're said to be unsaturated. Alrighty, so let's look at just a random sample molecule here. We'll draw uh, butane. Okay, so butane has four carbons. All right. And we'll fill up all the hydrogens so that each carbon has four bonds. So here's butane. All right, you know from our charts that the bute refers to the fact that there are four carbons, and the ane tells us that there are only single bonds between the carbons. All right, now let's change one of the single bonds to a double bond. But other than that, I'll leave the molecule exactly as it was. All right, notice the number of hydrogen changes slightly. Okay. So I'm going to number the I'm going to number the chain to give the double bond the lowest possible number. It's still bute because there are four carbons. The double bond now occurs between carbons one and two, so I'm going to say bute one ene. The bute says that there are four carbons. The ene part of the word now, or the ene part of the name, tells me that it is an alkene because there is at least one double bond. All right, and the number one tells me that the double bond is at carbon number one. Okay, so to name an alkene, indicate where the double bond is found in the molecule, giving it the lowest possible number, then change the suffix to ene, E-N-E. -E. 